My School's a Zoo by Stu Smith, illustrated by David Castro. My School's a Zoo. Yesterday's field trip to the zoo left me feeling rather strange, like my life was somehow different or just about to change. My parents didn't look the same. I watched them snort and drool. My sister ate my homework. I'm glad it's time for school. As I climbed aboard the school bus, my heart began to race. The driver waved his hairy arms with a banana on his face. Animals crammed in every seat and where'd all the people go? There has to be an answer. I bet Mrs. Wright will know. I ran into my classroom, but my teacher wasn't there. I would have told the sub if she hadn't been a bear. There were beehives on my desk and lizards at my feet. A goat ate all my pencils. There were needles on my seat. By the time I got to art class, there was nothing I could do. There were pythons on the ceiling, wreaking havoc with a glue. Computer lab was crazy. The mice were eating slugs. The computers didn't work on account of all the bugs. I tried to call for help, but a yak was on the phone. The principal was useless. He was gnawing on a bone. The librarian caught me hiding and she threw me quite a look as I glanced around the room. I noticed worms in every book. The lunchroom sure was crowded and the aides looked pretty mean. The lions and the wild beasts were causing quite a scene. The lobster in my lunchbox snapped its claws up in the air. The vulture watched me patiently so he could take a share. The turtles on the playground were spinning down the slide while hyenas laughing in a chorus as a hippo took a ride. Music class was noisy, a penguin letter band, the ostrich missed his cue, and the monkey smashed his hand. I was feeling kind of nauseous, so I went to see the nurse, but judging from her awful fangs, I thought she'd make things worse. There were starfish on my papers and a beaver cleaned the boards. The seal clapped two erasers while a fox gave out awards. The bus ride home was dreadful. The skunks made quite a stink. Did the zoo trip caused this mess? I closed my eyes to think. The next thing that I knew, the driver tapped my hand. Things seemed to be back to normal when my sister was eating sand. I sure hope that our next trip to the dinosaur display won't have the same effect as the zoo trip did today. But that could never happen. The dinosaurs are gone. At least I think they were. And again, I could be wrong.